King Titan's Trouble in Tokyo is a movie that captures everything stupid about Teen Titans show and everything awesome about the Teen Titans show by showing all of its weaknesses, what the show can be like at times, and all those strengths what the show can be like at times for the best episodes. Versus the week of our so it's Teen Titans Show could basically captures all these tones and a free act structure of a story. So it opens up with a uh, uh, action uh, with a bunch of action explosions, and it turns out that the assassin that's trying to kill the Teen Titans is like a uh, high find this guy called Brush Shogun. Who's located in Tokyo, but is, uh, but once they get there, the final brush gone is no more than a myth, a uh, legend, as in doesn't exist. So, which means they are probably on a wild goose chase. But the team leader Robin doesn't want to take a chance, so he just decides to uh, that the team should stay in Tokyo just in case if it is a wild goose chase or not. What the real deal? Uh, so. Which leads to the team actually end up spending some uh, spending time apart, and end up having some fun, and end up having a sort of vacation besides uh, being on a lookout for anything suspicious or you know out of the norm. In other words, so um, this when Robin and and uh, well Stafford are about to kiss and make out, uh, something just clicked with Robin saying a brush will gone. Uh, wants them to be distracted and probably doesn't want him to look for it. Probably is do, but Brush Gun probably wants is, he's just been repairing singing that Brush Gun wants exactly what was a team mock which is just having fun and not doing anything it keeps on cutting back to a, a voice assuming it was Brush Gun And, um, we have to assume it's Brush gone. And, uh, have a deep voice in this, uh, and then we see Brush gone stop painting, so we assume it is Brush gone. So it has to be, right? And, uh, so, um, um, that is a twist. If, I guess I'm not being slow enough, uh, so. I don't think I am, uh, so, Brush Gun is the one that makes the paintings that come to life, because he's the one who can do that, so, then, uh, Assassin, a version of the painted, uh, of Assassin as a painting, comes to Assassinate Robin, which leads them to a brawl out on uh, Molly Model with Robin versus Assassin, which leads to Robin probably committing murder. <laughs> and he's because the guy's not moving anymore. But so Robin probably took things a little too far, and uh, I was all guilty, and he's not really sure what the assassin was, you know. And he knows it doesn't seem it didn't seem human though, you know? It seemed like something else. While he's being interrogated by police, he's explaining, uh because he like uh, was being interrogated in the take by the police. So uh this one's being carried away. Brush Ogana breaks him out of uh police custody for some reason. And uh Robin sees a bunch of police officers that could be, so 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 they're not really make sure they're not really badly wounded, and takes some takes uh, uh takes a civilian's clothing after being the shit out of him, and walking his way into a club to get some answers, but then ends up getting caught. caught uh, then the things go south for him, and. 
Willie Sue Chase and him being cornered on the bridge on both sides. Then he raises his hand and Sapphire comes to his rescue and meets up with the rest of the team because he's on the Wonder Man news. So that's all he needed he need help. So, And I uh, just found out where he was by luck. So Robin suits up, puts his, uh, puts his superhero clothes on, his suit on. And Robin comes up playing this, like, this, it's like, uh, comes, it was a plan, a fast plan. And, uh, says we got a fine brush on real hit justice and try not to get caught by the police because we're now with one of the fugitives and now we're on the law on this one. So, sounds easy, said and done. Uh, then we get, we get to brush out Garn's uh, hideout, his lair. His, then we find out he's not really the mastermind behind the curtain. It's right the, uh, uh, the, one of the police officer that was interrogating Robin is really the man behind the curtain because he wanted to basically just get famous and liked and seen as a hero. And so we've basically been holding Russia gone hep hostages and captures about against his will and making him paint paintings. So the police have something to take down. Uh Robin figures this out before the guy Man behind the curtain even reveals himself. Once he feels, fi finds out what uh, brush guns is not really the person behind everything and sees the condition he's in. <laughs> sees that he's in rough shape and really an well, old man and an old, an old a tired one. And the first painting that was, uh, that was sent to his, uh, the towel was to, was was more of a distress call, and uh, helping and to gain because he wanted to basically do be he wants to be set free, or we'll just put out of his misery, <laughs> because he's he's it turns out Brush of Guns not really the evil guy, as the legend has made him out sound out to be, he's really this old old man that really doesn't want to hurt anybody, so it's it's. It, Nice so, of uh, so that's interesting. Uh, so uh, the police that was interrogating Robin bonds with Brusher gone and absorb his powers and uh, and uh, basically wreaking a bunch of havoc and uh, the only way to actually uh, well, stop him is to basically uh, kill Brushogon by separating each other. Him from Brushogon. Uh, so, uh, they do that. What's the power of teamwork and everything? And uh, Robin and Sapphire finally confess to love and kiss. So, it's just. And. The team's just making a car saying it's about time, blah, 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 blah. And now the team, every team members, is re have become, they have become uh, uh, town heroes. And uh, become a bunch of, uh, become one heroes of honor. And uh, a reward for their heroic deeds. So this one was like with, with this one, everyone assumes that we have to leave Tokyo, that they have to leave Tokyo, uh, the uh, like, and go back to the tower. Robin says, "How about we take a vacation here for a bit, and and to stay here for a bit and, uh, and have like a vacation?" So Robin has learned to uh, basically uh, enjoy life and not be so much of a well, you know. To dedicate to his work, I guess, and yeah, it's you know, and uh, so that is basically the end of the entire franchise. Was because this we just does take place after the final season of Teen Titans season, 
yeah, so, of uh, series. Uh, so, uh, you know, I really like this movie, I guess. I can see people will well, look upset about this movie. It's like, uh, it's less than ever did with the team. And, uh, they didn't do the most... Un, I didn't really didn't answer all the questions that the CPO had about the series. The big question, like, who is Red X? And, um... Uh, and also, never really, uh, saw... Wrapped up the whole terror story again. You never get rid of the full fast like collusion. And ends up in a bunch... In, a. Uh, so I guess a lot of people are like really they basically uh I mean I kinda agree with them. I guess I guess like I I kinda agree with them that the it was kinda stupid them to basically give closure on the least interesting element of the show that you could have done for the story and give closure on that, which is the which of saying Starfire and and Robin. If they they, they or they are not to confess their love, blah blah blah. But you know <sighs> You know, you could have done the other elements that people were interested on. Or at least two of them, like Red X and Tower, you could have done. And just have them confess their love as a side thing with the whole Robin and Starfire thing. Be like, sure they had going in this movie. Overall, I really enjoy this movie. I say this is better than a show. I mean, I mean it's better than. It, <laughs> Uh, how do I say, why do I say this? The reason why I say this is better than the show is because it's not as... It's going to sound weird when I say it's not as... In, try, not trying to be as ambitious as the show was trying to be. It's going to sound weird that why this is better than the show because it's not trying to be as ambitious as the show. But the reason why I, I, I say this better is like a... Well, the show's trying to be more ambitious telling very like complex storytellings. Uh, with character, you know, uh, in complex characters, it is a little distracting how the show, you know, has none of them know their secret identities or go call their real names. Because nobody knows who they really are, the, on the entire team of the Titans. I mean, you, and you would think with they spent so much time there, you would think they would uh know each other's identities, but uh and it's never mentioned how come they don't. Or no one ever mentions that that's kinda weird. I guess I, I I didn't know why I didn't know why why, but I guess like apparently the craze of the of the Titan show wanted that to be more to be more uh relatable show more engaging show if they just didn't have them in this villain identities at all and this was referred to as a superhero identities. Uh so. That's why I found out behind the scenes. That's why they, why they went that route. But, uh... I don't know, since kind of lazy and stupid. In hindsight, it went... In a, when it gets executed. So, yeah. Well, the show might get a 5 out of 10 for me. The movie, on the other hand, t Trouble in Tokyo gets a 10 out of 10 for me. And that's the end of the video. Bye.